Good afternoon and welcome to the newsroom. Methodist Hospital may be losing millions of dollars in federal funds and two burglary rings have been broken in our area today. Kim? Dave Treen shows three new prizes for the GOP and we'll take a look at the Mississippi Queen and a few of the beauties on her as well. And of course we'll have sports with Greg Fox in the series on the new coach of the Saints and the weather and a lot more. So stay with us here at 5. From the heart of New Orleans, this is TV6 News at 5 with Dick Edwards, Kim Peterson, Russ Minshew, and Greg Fox. TV6 News has learned that Methodist Hospital in New Orleans East may lose millions of dollars in federal funds because investigators say it discriminates against blacks. The 250-bed hospital off Reed Road has been notified by the U.S. Department of Health, Education and Welfare that it does not comply with federal civil rights laws. According to investigators, Methodist treats less than half the number of blacks as it should, according to the racial makeup of the surrounding neighborhoods. The report also says that Methodist does not amplify represent blacks in its volunteer programs nor on its board of directors. As a result of those charges, the hospital may lose $4 million in Medicare and Medicaid funds. Hospital officials say they're going to fight the allegations. Kim? Classes resumed today at Leon Gacho High School in Reserve. However, it was... We hope you'll join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. when the big movie will be 123 with James Cagney. Donahue, your man in the morning.